What is your ideal date? We are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. German disco light show. Hello everyone, I'm Dean. He's Dean. And that's Donnie. I'm Donnie. And we're continuing to play Dream Daddy for the PC. Please let us know below in the comments if you want us to go for all the dads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think we will. No. But it's good to know that we're letting you down. <laughs> oh my god. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> oh my god. I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. this is such a weird series for us. Yes. We've never done a visual novel yes. before. Yes, yes. And even though this one's, like, really quirky and unusual, it's, because it's a Game Grumps project, allegedly, uh-huh. it, uh, it's still really long-winded and involves a lot of reading. Yeah. I don't know, but I, I like it, though. It, it's, it really is charming. Do we have more minigames? Nope. nope. Yeah, so let's actually All right. get this fucker out of the way there. Why does that cursor keep appearing? <laughs> he keeps doing I'm sorry. All right. All right. All right. So we're going to load our, our save. Mm hmm Go back to... Uh, Dad book. Dads. We got dads. Uh-huh. All, All right. right. Where were we? We were at Robert. We have to look at his crazy-ass paranoia conspiracy profile. <sighs> okay. When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you know it'll use this information against us, right? <laughs> I don't know how it's going to use, like, your kinks against you. <laughs> right. That, that seems more like something other people on the internet will do. <laughs> right. On a Friday night, you are most likely to make a deal in an alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Was it... Giacomo. I trusted Giacomo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you had to take one thing one to a desert island, it would be a gun. Gun. I like that it just says gun. Gun. What would it be? Gun. Gun. <laughs> what are your turn ons? Don't talk to me. <laughs> the, the, I don't want the we fucking... already fucked up. We keep trying to talk to him. <laughs> I didn't want I didn't want the computer to know what my turn ons were, okay? <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Grifter. What's a grifter? <laughs> uh, basically a person who 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 rips people off for cash. A person who grifts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my god! What is your favorite movie genre? Italian neo realism. Do I dare look up what the hell that is? No. Okay. I don't. It, it sounds. <laughs> pretentious. <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't think that's the word I want, but that's what I'm going for. Uh, what do you never leave home without? At least four knives. He's got us topped. He has four <laughs> times the knives we do. <laughs> and a gun. And a gun, yes. I spend a lot of time thinking about, you ever really look into a rabid animal's eyes? What is right. wrong with this man? I, he's got a very dark and troubled past, I'm I kind of want to go for him just because I get the feeling whatever we end up with with that guy, it's going to be fucked up. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it's going to be real fucked up. All right, all right. What, what do we got next? Damien? Damien. Uh, Damien Bloodmarch. How do you do? I have finally decided to join this Information Superhighway. No one has called it the Information Superhighway since, like, 1998, okay? <laughs> that is such an old look, goddamn term. Look, look at him. Yes. He's behind the times. Yes. <laughs> He's also a vampire. Yes. I'm, I'm sure of it. I don't know if the supernatural exists in this world yet, but if it does, he's it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how this works. But I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorious... How, how do you have the, lady, the latest in Victorian fashion? That's it's <laughs> Victorian. Neo-Victorian? <laughs> 
If you would like, if you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, the inevitability of our own demise, or black cats, please send me a letter. <laughs> what a dork! <laughs> okay. It's like, aren't you a little old to be that goth? Yes, man? right. On a Friday night, you are most likely to listen to true crime podcasts while I taxidermy my newest specimen. He's, he's a vampire. I don't like that. He's a fucking vampire. Dude. Dude. True crime podcasts? <laughs> yeah. Like, people who play that video game? No. <laughs> I think I mean, it's Sleeping Dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he means he's he actually listens to... What was that old show? I'm trying to remember... Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, like, okay. I, I guess that's continued on in podcast form. I mean, not, not that particular show, but I imagine that someone, someone on the internet... Wait, wait hosts... but he's new to the internet, but he listens to podcasts. Yes. I, I'm seeing a contradiction here. <laughs> he's figuring out that people talk about Unsolved Mysteries <laughs> on, on a website. He's like, ooh, this sounds like right up my alley. Not 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 podcasts about like the latest video games or whatever tech news. No, no it's gotta be he's about. He's not into that. Oh. He's in the dead people. He's in the crime. Yes. If you had one thing to take with you on a desert island, it would be a coffin. Why? What are your turn-ons? Pronouncing bosom correctly. Bosom. 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 Is that how you pronounce it? Bosom. Bosom? Bosom. Isn't that what I said? Yes, that's what you said. You've pronounced it like three different ways in the last five seconds, my friend. Bosom. Buzz. Um. <laughs> God damn okay. it. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? A bat. This. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Foreign art house horror. Can, you know what? The only <laughs> normal person I've seen so far is... <laughs> is, 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 is Craig. No, not Craig. Um, uh, Brian. Brian. Brian I mean, just wants romantic comedies. That's standard. Hold on. What did Craig watch? Uh, actually, Buddy yeah, Cop. Okay, so two Buddy of them. Cop okay, movies. yeah, so two of them. Meanwhile, Matt's into shit with subtitles, and Robert's into Italian neoclassicism or whatever, or Italian neorealism. Uh, romantic, romantic comedies. Yeah. Okay. Okay, anyway. What is your ideal date? It's night. We are, at, we are at an industrial dark wave club in Berlin. The music drums to the beat of our hearts. It's oddly romantic, but also, what the fuck is what, wrong with what you? A, what a chuny. That's, That's the only word I have for this man. Uh, chuny. I'm sorry. But he's but, like in his 40s. Yes. Yes, this man never grew out of his face. He never grew out of out of middle school. Yes. Uh, what do you never leave home without? An upside down cross. I, I'm, Very religious. Yes. <laughs> it's why it's why he gets along with uh, Joseph. Yes. <laughs> I think I spent a lot of time thinking about mortality salience. Let's let's just move on. What is it? <laughs> I don't. What I can look it up. I guess. Okay, this one you read it. I've I've voiced six out of these, or you voiced six out of yeah, these I seven guys. Holy like, shit! Yeah, like, I voiced this man, this man, yeah, this no. man, this man. Well, I, mean, I I guess it kind of works because this I have to, I have to I have to do the main character, so I have to play off. Yeah, you it's weird. You read the narration. Yeah. So, so I guess I guess it balances <laughs> question mark, but yeah, it, it is a very lopsided uh, ratio. Whatever. I, I think got, this I got... is going to be the first big choice, dude. Though, like. This this dad book. Uh -huh. This is gonna be when we decide who we go after. Right, right. For sure, for well, real. Yes. This time, AD is not here to bail you out. No, uh, he's not <laughs> he's here not. to help you with my indecision. <laughs> okay. Hugo Vega, excuse me. Middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's life sucks. <laughs> on a Friday night, you're most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. 
Oh my god, he's in the Warhammer. <laughs> if you had one thing to take on an island, it would be A Remembrance of Things Past by Marcel Proust. Turn on muscles. Okay, so he's in the crack. Yeah. What did you want to be when you grow up? Movie star. Really? <laughs> Favorite yeah. movie genre? Documentaries on art history. Hold the phone. Hold uh-huh. the fuck phone. Uh-huh. He wanted to be a movie star, but his favorite movies are pretentious documentaries. Yes. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, okay, <laughs> <I> cool. got... <laughs> if, if you're cool with that, I'm cool. <laughs> I, got... I don't know what to say. It's like, he likes art in all forms, I guess. He... <laughs> I, I kind of you know I kind of get it when you're writing like a dating sim, uh-huh. but uh, all these characters are pretty pretty uh they they're they're very themed. Yes, you know. Yes, like each of them has a thing they're all about. Yes. Anyway, what's your ideal date? Each of us read a different book on opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. <laughs> Why a different book? <laughs> what if I want to read the same book? No, listen, if you want to just, if you want to read, uh, you know, Karl Marx and he wants to read Stalin, you know, then you can trade off ideas about communism or whatever have you, what everyone has. You know, I don't think different. he's about that life. He's probably not, anyway. but I'm just saying. Will you never leave home without? My glasses. Actually, I forget them at home a lot. <laughs> I spend a lot of time thinking about... I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. I mean, that's... that's, that's about right. (laughs) God damn technology. (laughs) (laughs) Alright. Alright. Joseph Christensen. You want to read this one? Yeah, sure. Joseph Christensen. Voted Maple Bay's number one youth minister for five years running. Living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out in the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. <laughs> That's it, you little bastards are going down. <laughs> on a Friday night, I'm most likely to lead the community in a fun mixer. If you had one thing on a desert island, my six string. Your wow. turn-ons include... My loving wife. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Ship captain. What's your favorite movie genre? Feel, Feel good. good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's your ideal date? Lovely night on the town with my wife. <laughs> what do you never leave home without? The good book. I spent a lot of time thinking about... How I can be a better man, husband, and father. Well, he's... I gotta say, so far he's the only one whose profile seems deadly. Yes. But then again, he's the only one who so far is confirmed to have a family. Yes. Like, friggin' Craig got divorced. We don't know about Matt. Brian also seems to be a single father. Uh, don't know about you. you he goes question mark. I mean, we know he's yeah. got a son, but that's it. We don't know a lot. We don't know a lot about any of these men. <laughs> Makes it hard to pursue. I'm just saying. That's fair. Damien, I don't know, probably ate his wife. <laughs> Same with Robert. <laughs> Taxi Derby. To, oh, my wife. You'd love to meet her, wouldn't you? And then just just pan over to a shot of her taxi derby in the corner. After she died of natural natural causes, we we decide to preserve her forever. <laughs> what what are those holes in her neck? <laughs> Artistic integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all right. so enough so beating got, around the bush. We gotta message one of these men. Yes. We can possibly message more than one of these men, mm-hmm. but what? which one of these men should we message? Do you want to go for Roberts? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like our priorities are shifting every single, like, every single They're gonna time. shift all the time, that's, my friend. That's fair. That's you want to go for Craig? <laughs> Craig seems like easy mode question mark though. I don't you know. You just say that because he's the childhood friend. Yes, the childhood friend is like the easiest one usually, right? Duh. <laughs> no. I, no. 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 In Tokimeki Memorial, the childhood friend right. is also the the main the main one. The, right. The hard one. Right, right. Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> This, this is the part where I have an indecision. It's like, I thought we were going to go for Matt, but... 
All right, let's talk to Matt. All right, let's go for Matt. All right, let's go. All right, if that's, if that's how you want to be. By quality, not quantity. Okay. Minimize eating fried food, candy, and sweets. Nope. Aaron Hansen, you don't take that advice. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. I thought this was going to just be like, uh... What? Like how it was with the friggin' talking to Amanda. Like, it would just be rapid fire. Right? Hey, man. Great getting to see you at the barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey, dude. I'd, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? I think for a moment. What's a Sound Garden? <laughs> it's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Well, I'm thinking, another message pops up on the screen. Pup is playing tonight? Cool little indie pop punk rap. <laughs> cool little indie pop punk band. <laughs> punk? Wow. This In is surprisingly yeah. hard to say five times fast. Pop punk rock band. Shut pop it. punk rock band. There pop you go. punk rock band. <laughs> Out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. Oh god! <laughs> I log off of Facebook and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally track back decades of memories to denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. I wanted to see what that last message was. Yeah, me too! <laughs> oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god! God! Other people thought it was cool. Finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all the airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? We have a friggin' pompadour. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not gotten better. <laughs> okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean... I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she'd been crying. Man, oh. it has been a lot of time. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, our phase passed. J just like we, Persona, we, we, we hit a thing, and now the day has gone. <laughs> we, just, we, we sent one message. <laughs> And then ignored the response. <laughs> oh, God. She better not be doing the weed. No, she's just upset with, I don't know, girl problems. Hey, what's wrong, Panda? Oh, fine. nothing. I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take pop music ser seriously, <laughs> despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical innovations are coming out of that genre. I, I counter with... I don't agree with that. I, I counter with... We we made Little Pump popular in current years, so... <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. I think it's just yet another thing that we write off because we can't take young women or their interests seriously. I mean, I will say that, like, Lady Gaga did change the game. But again, we also made Little Pump famous, so... I, did she? Did I, I, she really? I, I'd argue that she is the perfect evolution of Madonna. Like, she, she took what she did sure, and turned it up to Sure, but all of her songs are friggin' math numbers. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's just... Are you sure that's all you're upset about? You have to tell me what's actually wrong? That is pretty messed up. Um... I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on you because I know what I would choose and I don't feel like it's the right answer. I am not a good person, Dean. I want to 
know what's actually wrong with her. There's no way she's what, just this? crying. Yeah. This? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, really? She, she can't just be crying really? about that, man. No, it's got to be something, like, really important. I don't know. She's wacky. She is wacky, but no, no, she doesn't seem like the type to just start crying out of nowhere. So come on, what's wrong, Amanda Panda? Okay, but do you want, okay, do you want to hardball it or softball it? I want to hardball it. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Really. I don't think it's a good idea. You don't think so? I don't think it's a good idea. Because I know that's what I want to choose, and I'm terrible. Let's, let, let, let's softball it then. Let's, let's, let's oh, go going hardball. Okay. Why are you lying to me? I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. Alright. I don't believe her, but I'll let it go for now. Uh. Anyway, what's up? Huh? Amanda, how do I be cool? Hmm? Let me put on a <laughs> let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. <laughs> no, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Yeah, you have. You took me to one once when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming pre -t I was gonna say, it's gotta be like an NSYNC analog or something like oh, that. Oh, no! Oh. Oh, God. I tried so hard to forget. <laughs> the one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you had to try cry and scream the whole time? Dad. It was so much more than that, I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed. You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in the Trapper Keeper. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's at a smaller place. I think Mansion, Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Like DIY, gutter punk, thrash, straight edge? Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Are they post-punk, proto-punk, C-punk, Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're... Canadian punk? Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of a Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? Yes. <laughs> I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets as the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. When are we getting back to what the fuck Matt said? Right? <laughs> We're gonna come back and he's gonna have like a million messages and think we just didn't want to go. Do I dare check the footage to see what he just said? I don't know, man. That's it? Huh. I mean, yeah, it's not like you're gonna jump into the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers you offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward where he takes you to a nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Yeah. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. She's speaking from experience. Did, did that happen to her? I, I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> That's gotta be a thing that happened to her. She's gotta be speaking from experience here. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Matt, do you want to start, start this date next time, I guess? I, I guess. Yeah, okay, I guess we'll be back. I can't believe we went on a date. I can't believe we... It's, that's what it is. I just wanted to say hi. That's it, it's, it's a date. Also, I can't believe we're showing up and we didn't read what his fucking message was. <laughs> we'll be back.